this oof, I, I don't even know where to start with this like um we're gonna talk about this this is basketball wives but it is just this is a whole situation of collateral damage um who I'm gonna figure it out, but right now I don't even know where to start. Let's get into it, y'all. And I'm like, come on through, cook. Yeah. I don't wanna pull my soapbox, that's basically it. Let's talk about drag. Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on the video. This is my review for Basketball Wives. This is season seven, episode six. This whole episode, I watched this episode and um, mm, I feel a kind of a way. I, 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 it's just the collateral damage. It's like, mm, I, I, we're going to talk about it. Just know that I think I'd have a problem being friends with just about everybody at this point. I, I'd have, they had a retreat, I'd probably retreat. I would probably retreat to the point where I wouldn't be fucking with none of these bitches, period, if I was Shawnee. But, okay, let's go. Um, First things first, Kristen and Cece. So we start right up where we left off, where Kristen and Cece are outside of the event having that little back and forth. And it was weird. And it was something strange going on. And then when Malaysia dropped her confessional, it made sense. But she said, I told my cousin that I would protect the girls from the other ladies. But I never said I would protect them from each other. There's some type of underlying situation between the two of them. And there is. That was the strange that their conversation seemed strange, but I didn't say anything about it because there I was like, something's off. When she let us, there's some little thing between Cece and Kristen. Cece and Kristen, they not really friends, baby. They 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 are associated um, through time and space, basically. But I don't think they really like each other. And once Malaysia said it, it became so much, so evident. And then you could see it in their interaction. I mean, Cece, you had all these issues with Jen and them. Jen talked to you like you was a motherfucking fool. And you ain't give Jen the rah-rah that you gave Kristen. Well, she left off of there and was like, I'm out of here. She literally called Kristen a bitch. Jen and Evelyn drug your ass in the public eye, and you didn't call one of them a bitch. You scared? And that's basically kind of what Kristen has said to her in so many words. Bitch, you scared of them, but you're going to try to give it to me. You know, I guess because she thinks that Kristen won't just bop the shit out of her because of the family situation. And ain't that how folks do? Now, me personally, I'll bop the fuck out of a family member too. So, psh, that shit wouldn't be helping her. I've been the, psh, just as quick and cute, bop the shit out of her. But I, I looked at her and I was like, really, Cece? Because you've been a punk this whole time and you got these camera balls when it came. You even let the punk of the show punk you. And then you call Kristen a bitch and walk off like you a boss. I was like, bye, Cece. That made me look at her real crazy. I was like, bye, Cece, bitch. See you, dummy. Not feeling it. Tammy. Tammy. Girl, it's, it's this crazy little thing with, with Tammy. I like Tammy, but I don't like a lot of Tammy's ways. Um, 
when I see her outside of this arena, groovy, real groovy. Her little bar, uh, Bonnet Chronicles, and she just did the um, the after show on BET. She was excellent. Look lovely. Well, I didn't like that outfit, but girl. I wasn't down with that bejeweled, bedazzled, Liberace jogging suit, but bitch's hair and makeup was on, on, flawless. Um, but outside of hair, funny, engaging, on hair, messy bitch. You, you just, you really, I mean, you are like Sheree Whitfield to the 10th power, and then you're a bully on top of it, which don't help. So it's like a mix of Nene and Sheree, if you could even imagine a mix of Nene and Sheree, and then some of that funky-ass Kim thrown on top. That's all you, Tammy. You are a major bitch on this show. Major. And I'm like, girl, it's a lot. But anyway, Tammy sits down with Pastor uh, John Gray and his wife, Evans Hart. Um, and they're talking about you know, her her moving forward and her fixing her personality and everything. Now, one thing I couldn't really get into is that Pastor John Gray and his wife were sitting there and the three of them were all in agreement with this whole thing of that Evelyn is jealous of Tammy. Why? Why? But whatever, that's their thing. You know, what, what you think of me is not my issue. What you think of other people, not my issue. But they got it down that Evelyn is jealous of Tammy. I don't see it. But okay, could be. I don't see it. And it's more about this whole thing about, like, the fact that she has Reggie and she has kids and she's able to have kids, I guess. So now all of a sudden she's jealous of her. Yeah, all right. Whatever. You know, tell yourself whatever you need to tell yourself, Bill. Um, so he's giving her this exercise about finding nice things to say about people instead of lashing back out when people do things you don't like. Don't come back at them with this negative energy. Go at them with something positive because that throws them off their game. Now, I agree with that. I, I agree, you know, but then sometimes you do just got to punch a bitch in the mouth. But, yeah, when you don't rebut back with the Fuck you, bitch. It, you know, it, it changes the dynamic, and you do generally come up as a winner. So I get that. So Tammy decided she wanted to throw this retreat. So she meets up with Shawnee, and she's just saying, you know, I'm going to put together this meeting. It's going to be a retreat. We won't go around the room. You know, it's an exercise that John Gray gave me, but we won't actually do it with all the girls, and it probably worked for all of us. Then she started talking real cryptic about some rumor that involved Shawnee. And Shawnee's like, so are you going to tell me the rumor or what? No, I ain't going to say nothing. Then Malaysia comes. Tammy pulls Malaysia to the side. Malaysia knows the rumor. Nobody's going to tell Shawnee. Now, I can see the angst in Shawnee. Shawnee was getting a little irritated. And I understood. I was like, this is some crazy shit here. And then I'm just starting to listen. Tammy said, you know, I think you should hear from the person who said it. And they'll definitely be there. Malaysia didn't think it should be told at all. Period. So I started looking and this is what I said. Tammy, you a messy bitch. You in this little retreat situation, you're doing the complete opposite of what it is that John Gray is actually intended for you to do. You're supposed to be cleaning up your shit and stopping all this arguing and fussing and contention between you and people, but you see you're mad. And what's your big thing? You're really mad, Tammy. You're mad because Evelyn fucking got you, bitch. That's why you don't like Evelyn so much is because she fucking gets you and she embarrasses you. You're not, you're fast and you're witty, but for some reason, you can't fuck with Evelyn. Like when she called you a non-motherfucking factor, bitch, she got you in front of everybody nationwide and you ain't never got unmad over that. You've never got a man, and bitch, she did get you. That shit, people still, you're a non-motherfucking factor, bitch. Everybody 
thinks that's hilarious. And when they make reference to it, it's a joke about you and you're mad about it still. And it's just other things that you, you try to come in her and now she's doing, she's imitating you and imitating your walk and different things. And everybody's laughing at you yet again. These are those little things that you can't forgive about Evelyn because she's quicker than you when it comes to reading and gagging and you can't take it you can't take it and you'd be mad as hell and i believe if it was if she would let you push her around like everybody else you'd be all right with that and y'all be able to be friends the way you and jen be doing you know how that goes but anyway i think that's the real big root of it but this whole thing is you still mad about that shit those things that have gone on you are mad about the fact that her and jen have become friends and you are determined to fuck that up. And I'm sitting watching us at this whole retreat. Ain't nothing. This ain't about you and your personal growth. This is about you and your get back, bitch. And I ain't even mad about that. But you old vindictive bitch. Vindictive as hell. But okay. So when as far as, and I have some of that in me too. But as far as it goes to vindictive shit. Bitch, I'm going to give you kudos on this shit here because this was brilliant. Bitch, this was a masterpiece. If you, As far as being a, a old nasty, vindictive bitch that coming with a one-two punch, bitch, you number 10, bitch. You did this. Now, you did this, but don't let it be said that you personal growth with the pastor, bitch, you full of shit. Bitch, you full of shit. This was all part of a master motherfucking plan. This is the master key, honey. I said, mm mm. So I'm going to give you that. Nasty, nasty, honey. But anyway, so I said, okay, here we go. I'm looking now. This is a plan. Tammy is setting up a plan. She's going to do the one two punch. So I just kept watching. Um, We see that goddamn fucking OG and her mammy out shopping. I don't understand her whole point. I don't know why she's here. She can go. She can really go. Shawnee, you can get rid of her ugly ass. But she's out there with her mammy. They shopping in the store. She's trying this dress with a split that's all the way up past the crack of her ass. Why do you have that dress on? You look ridiculous, as usual. As she's talking about marriage and weddings, here we found out the boy ain't even proposed her. I said, if you don't get this bitch to fuck off of here, bye, um, bitch. See you. The fuck out of here. Then they showed her later on with the dude, and the dude sits right there and lets her, bitch, I'm not even on the same page with you, but I'm trying to marry you, bitch. He's having, having fun sweating on your motherfucking back. That's all. He ain't trying to marry you. He ain't interested in marrying you, and he basically told you that in so many words. We do not need to see them no more. Kwame or motherfucking OG. Bye, OG. What? And we can see you drop in when Jackie needs you for a storyline. But that's basically it. Other than that, why is she fucking here? Shawnee, why is she here? Fuck out of here. Anyway, Tammy met with Jackie. Same thing. They went to this little Congo drumming class. Jackie, for a change, Jackie was so not with the shit at all. Jackie... Christy was not with the shits. She was like, mm -mm, this is going to hurt Shawnee, and I ain't trying to be a part of that. I really ain't trying to be a part of that. Now, I, I think it's it's horrible. It really is horrible when you really get down to, to the end of it and you realize Tammy, Jackie, Malaysia, they all know this thing that's going on. That has to do with Shawnee. That's going to be so detrimental to Shawnee. But none of them have actually mentioned it. And this shit has been going on for over a year. They've like held it. I said, wow, not one of y'all? Not one. Okay. So then you see Evelyn and Jen. Now the two of them, they don't know nothing about nothing. And Evelyn saying, you know, well, both of them were skeptical about going to the retreat. And I said, you should, because you two bitches are being set up. You're being set up. The both of you are being set the fuck up. So, okay, we all, we get to the retreat, Cheryl. 
And they go and they start and they're doing a little thing and they all go around the room. And Shawnee was already, she just stewed over the shit for the last week or so, getting we almost getting together. And Shawnee said, you know, I'm gonna let them go through all the niceties of all this bullshit, whatever this is they got going on. But then it's gonna be my time on the floor and I'm the EP. So what the fuck? When I say it's my time on the floor, it's gonna be my time on the motherfucking floor. And we're gonna get it on. I, and I was right there with Shawnee, because the, what the fuck? You know, don't fucking play me. Don't make me part of y'all's storyline, and I'm paying you bitches. Like, really? So that, now, you know, we always fuss about Shawnee and her, you know, pushing her, you know, bitch in charge. This was the time I didn't even have no problem with Shawnee, and she didn't really do it, but I would have had no problem with her pushing the envelope like, bitch, uh-uh, you whores ain't gonna pull no shit on me. Not on my show. And embarrass my motherfucking ass in front of national TV. But they did. So they go around. She, once the shit goes around, they're like, okay, all the niceties is done. And then Shawnee go right to, you know, the horse mouth where she knows she can get the shit. She's like, so is anybody going to tell me what the rumor? Krista don't know what the fuck they talking about. Cece don't know what the fuck they talking about. Jen and, and Evelyn sitting there like deer in headlights don't know what the fuck's going on. But Malaysia knew. Tammy knew and Jackie did. Malaysia's like, um, she says to Jackie, she went right to Jackie, straight the fuck to Jackie, because you know Jackie's generally with the shits. She go to Jackie, spill it, Jackie, and Jackie said, you know what, I won't do it, Shawnee, I won't do it, and you know what, in that moment, I ain't got nothing bad to say about you, Jackie Christie. And Jackie dropped real tears. That wasn't Jackie playing that game. She told her, you know what, I'm not going to do it. It's, it's going to be too, it's something that's hurtful. It's something that's fucked up. And I'm not going to play a part in it. And if me and you can't be cool no more because I don't want to hurt you, then so be it. But I am not, it is not going to come out my mouth. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Whatever it was, I didn't say it. I don't have a part in it. And I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to hurt you. And if we can't be cool because I don't want to hurt you, Shawnee, then so be it. I ain't, I'm not going to do it. I was like, wow. Jackie's counseling is working. Jackie's shit's working. I said, okay. She go to Malaysia. Malaysia like, I'm not saying nothing. We just got on the right track. I'm not saying nothing. I'm not. I'm not saying nothing. So Shawnee's like, are you all fucking kidding me? She's like, so are you telling me that the person who actually said it, and that's what Tammy's like, you know, I didn't say it. The person that actually said it is here. They're here, and they need to go ahead and tell you. Child, at this point, Evelyn says, well, take me out of that, because I know it ain't got nothing to do with me, because I don't even know what they're talking about. Baby Malaysia was like, <laughs> okay. Malaysia then got up, went over there, grabbed Jen, pulled just, excuse me, y'all, pulled Jen's ass to the side, and was like, listen, bitch, you need to go on back over there. This is about that shit that you said, whore. It's that shit that you said. You need to go in and, and come on out with the shit. And Jen's like, oh, fuck. You know, you can see it all on her face. I said, mm hmm I told you I was about sick of you, bitch. Didn't I tell you I was sick of you, Jen? I told you that I was sick of your motherfucking ass and that your day was going to come. Your day's going to come when all this shit that you be doing is going to blow up in your face. You're a messy fucking bitch. So I said, okay, so she's coming on back over. And, that's the, and you're just the, the new Jen. She when she is forced to stand in her shit, she'll stand in it, you know. And then she get a little too. For me, I'd be like, "Somebody gonna punch you." So she's like, Evelyn's still like, "What the fuck?" So then they sit down, they start going back and forth. Jen and Jen's like, "Yeah, well, okay." So there was some information, you know. I had talked to Tammy because Tammy wasn't messing with Evelyn at the time, and I wasn't messing with Evelyn at the time. And so then Tammy's like, "Uh, uh, hold on." Let me stop you, bitch, because you're trying to cover your ass right now with your friend. Because y'all are friends. I said, if it's Tammy and her plan, your friend, you're trying to cover your ass with your friend. And you're not going to lie on me. You came to me and told me the shit. And she's like, Tammy, no, I didn't. Did you not ask me the information? And I'm sitting there. Now, one thing about Tammy, is she a bully? Yes. Is she messy as fuck? Yes. Is she a bitch? Yes. But do I know Tammy to be a liar? No, I do not know Tammy to be a liar. Do I trust Jennifer? Fuck no, I don't. 
Fuck no, I don't. And Sean, he been friends with them. I just start watching these shows on TV. But I don't know Tammy to be no fucking liar. I don't. Do I believe that Jen will lie? Just as sure as them fucking eyelashes were stuck to her goddamn forehead when her husband threw that drink in her face. I think that bitch would lie because she messy as fuck. So Tammy was like, mm -mm. So then Jen started getting mad with Tammy and was say, well, yeah, I mean, it was what it was. This is what it was. It was that um, a rumor that Evelyn um, slept with your ex. Baby, if you could have seen Evelyn's face. Well, you seen it on the on my thumbnail. Evelyn was like, what? And she looked at Shawnee, and Shawnee, Shawnee's face went from very irritated, and she had her glasses on, but she went from very irritated to, you could see, shock and pure fucking hurt in her face. And, you know, Shawnee ain't one of my favorite people on the show, but in that moment, I felt so fucking bad. For Shawnee. I really did. I felt bad for Shawnee. I felt bad as hell for Evelyn. And y'all know I like Evelyn. I, you know, she do shit that don't she'll always be right. But the two of them, I definitely feel like in this piece here, Evelyn and Shawnee were completely the victims. They were the victims. And the two of them, if they both said, I'm not fucking with none of you bitches anymore, I would be completely okay with that. Because like I said, a retreat, I would probably retreat from all of them. I wouldn't fuck with none of them. None of them. Because that this whole little thing here is probably the, like the one thing that I believe that the two of them wouldn't be able to recover from. Because I don't think that there's really anything that Shawnee and Evelyn couldn't recover from. But Evelyn fucking one of her men. And you know, Evelyn already has a, a reputation for being a hot pussy slut. So I don't think, you know, I don't think they could recover from that. But she starts saying, she said from the door, call that motherfucker now, Shawnee. Call him on the phone. I've never even sat and talked to that motherfucker on the phone. I, I wouldn't do that to you. I wouldn't do it. But again, with your past and the shit that's been said, it's like, damn, me too. You know what I mean? So, I, oof. It was rough. It was, this was so fucked up. And it was so awkward. And I was like, wow. And that's what um, Evelyn was saying. And she's like, Tammy, I mean, my, th my God, you know, we don't fuck with each other. Yes, you got a vendetta against me. You don't like me. But we're still a year. This shit, y'all been sitting on this shit for a year and ain't nobody said nothing. If I was Shawnee and Evelyn, I wouldn't fuck with none of them bitches no more. I'd be done. Done. Now with Shawnee, I don't know. Well, we got to wait because that's the show kind of ended there for the most part. Um, I don't know. But the whole thing, I don't know how it's all going to fall out, but Tammy's intention was to get Evelyn and to get Jen. And Shawnee's ass was collateral damage. Period. 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 That say a whole lot. You a messy bitch, Miss Tammy Roman. Messy, 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 messy. But I said, ooh, I, it did just left me feeling away. But I really did. I'm telling you, I felt so bad for Shawnee and Evelyn. I really did. I was like, wow. I felt really bad for them too. I don't know. Y'all tell me what y'all think down in the comments. And it's kind of hard. I mean, you can before y'all even start commenting. Because I know you got the people that hate Evelyn. You got the people that don't like Shawnee and all of that. Let's talk about this situation itself. Not shit that happened in the past. I'm talking about this situation. The, the, the luring and bringing them in. The intent behind. We're talking about this situation itself as a whole. Not what Evelyn did in the past. Not what Shawnee has done in the past. Just this situation. How would you have handled yourself in this what would your next piece of recourse be okay i'll see you guys in the comments and i'll see y'all for this basketball wise next week all right later